Welcome to YouTubers Love Excel number 107. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link and you can download the workbook YouTubers Love Excel 101 to 111. Hey, this YouTuber asked about military time, but it wasn't really military time that was the problem. It's that he was trying to calculate how many hours he worked across two days. He started at 1400 and worked till 3 a.m. the next day. The problem is, you well, when you're doing time math, you always want to take the later time minus the earlier time. Well, if you take this, if you click in the cell and see 3, you see it's 3 a.m and you click here and you type 14 colon colon and puts 2 p.m. Excel doesn't know that those are across two days. So if you take this one minus this one, it will not work. So we have to do, I'm going to do one formula here just to, to, that would work just for this one case. And then I'll show you an awesome alternative that will work always. I want to click here and type equals open parentheses 1 minus this. Now look, they started at 14, so if I subtract everything through the day so far from 1, it will give us the portion of the day that this person worked up to midnight. Hey, wait a second, why does that work? Because time is always a decimal between 0 and 1, the proportion of one 24-hour day. So 1 minus that will give us the, out, the proportion of one 24-hour day worked up through midnight. Well, then we just need to add this right here. Close parentheses. Now I'm going to control enter. That has a time format, but watch this. Control 1. Go up to general right here. You can see that that's the proportion worked of a day. And even if you click up here, if you haven't watched some of the other videos I produce about time and control 1 and apply general and then OK, you can see that that all this time, even if you, if you, when you type, type in, it's the proportion of 124 hour a day. If you know that, that what you see right here, 3 colon 0, 0, is just formatting. It's just what you see. It's not really in the cell. If you know that that's a proportion of 124 hour a day, any time math is possible. I'm going to control Z here. That's one silly way to do it. Um, but watch this. I'm going to hit F2 to put it in edit mode. If you wanted to use that decimal, like for uh, number of hours work times hours or something like that, then you would have to multiply this by 24. And that would give you 13. Now, let's um, show you a much better alternative. Anytime you work over uh, from one day to the next, just type the date in first in time. Let's try this out. 8 slash 26 slash 2008 space 14 colon 00. zero. Enter. Now, what in the world is that? Well, if you know date math, date math is the uh, day since December 31st, uh, 1899, and time is a proportion of 124 hour days. So if I got rid of this formatting, this should be the number of days since Janu um, December 31st, 1899 plus a little extra, a little fraction. So I'm going to control 1 and go up to general. And sure enough, look, there it is. That is awesome. In all my videos, I've always talked about date separately from time, but you can use them together. I'm going to click Escape. No problem. Let's try, do the next day. This person worked till 827, 2008, space 3 colon. Enter. Now. If we subtract these two, this is the later one. And if you don't believe me, watch this. The keyboard shortcut for going to general is control shift tilde. The tilde key is right below the escape key. I hold control shift and tilde. See that? And then control shift and tilde. See how this number is bigger? It's one day bigger. So when you subtract this bigger number, take this bigger number and subtract the littler number, it will give us exactly the time work. I'm going to control ZZ equals that minus that. Control enter to keep that cell highlighted. That is general format. We could F2, and if you wanted to do, you could time it, uh, format it with time, and it would give you that 13. But um, if you're going to do calculations, oftentimes it's best to convert it to an integer or whatever it is. So I'm going to take that times 24 and 13. So there you go. Um, and not only that, it, military time or other, we can come down here and type um, 8 slash 26 slash 2008 space 
2 colon 0 0 space PM. Enter. Oh, it's, it's default. I'm going to control 1 and apply. I already had that formatted. Uh, date right here. And notice if you scroll down here, we have uh, an option between these two right here. I'm going to click on that one. Click OK. I'm going to click on uh, the home and get my uh, format painter, which is on the formatting toolbar in 2003. And then I'm click right there because I don't want to put 8 slash 2007 slash 2008 space. And now I'm going to put uh, 3 colon 00, zero space AM. Well, that didn't work. I think there's a space before that. See how that AM didn't convert up? That won't work at all. There's something wrong with this. There is. Um, I'm going to put it into edit mode and go backspace, 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 and hit Enter. No, that's still. By the way, you can uh, expand the column. See how that's. Uh, oh, there it is. That's why. Uh, see how when you expand the column, if it's aligned to the left, it's text. If it's aligned to the right, it's a number. So I have uh, too many sevens. There's not 277 days in the eighth month of 2008. I'm going to hit, hit a space and then AM. Now let's subtract them equals this minus this. And I'm going to put a parentheses and a parentheses here. And then multiply it times 24. Why can we type a number into a formula like that? Because that's a number that never changes. All right, so that is how to do one excellent way to deal with uh, working across a day. All right, we'll see you next week.